God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Tuesday, November the 3rd, Election Day in the U.S. I hope you voted. Today's devotional is based on Psalm 96. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name, tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Before the Lord, he, for he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Stephanie Mar Smith. The psalm promotes a former witness that is portrayed as a playful celebration of life. The fields exult and the trees of the forest shout for joy. Their very existence displays the greatness of the Lord. By implication, witness may be viewed as not only pointing beyond ourselves, but as being and becoming ourselves. For instance, the sea is one of the marvelous works of God, and simply by being its roaring self, it witnesses to God's glory. Likewise, humans witness to the marvelous works of a creator God by being themselves. And Mar Smith leaves us with two questions to ponder today. In what ways do you witness to God's glory by being yourself? What attributes allow you to be a reflection of God? Let us pray. What a joy it is to be a witness to your wonderful works. Thank you for the person you created me to be. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor.